criminals um, all around the world at home and abroad. Work for many government departments, including the Ministry of Defence, Department for Transport, three of my fellows uh, giving a presentation about some of the capability. The effective operational deployment of explosive detection capability with the military. That's in service with the Army. PC Michael Bowshaw and his dog Max, who are going to demonstrate how they would search a suspicious vehicle. Max is also trained that a click means he's done great work and will soon be getting his reward. So this clicker training means that he can be safely rewarded away from any explosive hazard. So the science we do at DSTL ensures that our detection dogs can find the highest priority threats. Right, you know, which is more important than the ball or the... the, the I'll the ball can play some of it, can't we? Thank you. Thank you. We'll later go on to do further analysis back here in the laboratory. Are some explosives harder to, to trace and, and check on the machine than others, or is it? We do have quite comprehensive libraries, but when we have bulk materials, we're looking on forums, we're looking at websites, we're actually in there and trying to find out about explosives. And it's quite a lot going down, isn't it? Yes, it's very involved. It's actually quite good at it, if you can keep these things out. Yes, it might be close to the whole point, isn't it? We're going to just walk across to the market. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 There's lots of work, of course. Sounds like the government or here. From the ground and space related technologies. Yeah. 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 It is because you don't quite know no. which way it's going yeah. to go. And, and, and now, now it's doubling itself again, isn't it? It, it is unfortunately on the rise. And the Mrs. Claire Burt. Um, Claire has actually been organising much of the event today. Oh, there we go. Um, and interestingly, Claire just returned from a job at the US uh, Embassy, the British. So as you can see, we get involved in everything. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Well, it's proof that we've been here. It's proof that you have been here, and we will treasure that for many years and show folks, I'm sure, as well. You're going to pass it on, Jim. When was this? In 2018, it was awarded, mm -hmm. and, it was, and this is the first time it's um, been presented, obviously, for you, from yourself. Interesting for some months. So with that, I'd like to ask Her Majesty to formally open the building.